like something new. So exciting. So talk about Duke. You made a big performance when you were at Duke. How was that? Um, Duke was awesome. I mean, it, just to be coached by such a great coach for four years and be at a great university and graduate there for four years, it's, uh, it's an awesome experience, awesome. <laughs> I love my four college years, they're all awesome. So what's it been like for you in the NBA? What was the highlight thus far for your season? Um, I don't know, I kind of think it's too early to tell right now. Okay. Um, I haven't had a chance to do a lot of reflecting on the season mm -hmm. yet. Um, because everything happens so quickly, so um, my highlight right now is just being drafted and being here. Sure. And at the end of the year, I'll look back and figure out what my highs and lows were. But uh, every, like I said, everything's so new right now. I'm kind of just taking it in wide-eyed. Right. So as far as learning, who's been a big inspiration to you on the team, and what have you learned most of stepping up to this level? Um, and how do you differentiate college to the pros? What has been the biggest factor? Is it? Yeah, it's uh, so on the team. I mean, Jay has helped a lot, um, giving me a lot of advice day in and day out. Um, you know, we work together on the court, getting shots up pretty much every day. Um, and then Joe has helped a lot too. I have a, a locker next to his, and so constantly talking to him about stuff and. Um, I think one of the biggest differences between the college game and the NBA game is, other than on the court, is just the preparation that it takes to go into it. Um, I mean, you have to, it's like a constant 24-hour thing, you're constantly, you're either recovering or preparing for another game, you know, so um, there's a constant grind of just being a professional and, um, and taking care of yourself and making sure you're in the top shape to be on the court. How's the traveling been? How's that factored uh, in it's you know, been the a, frequency? Uh, it's been a little bit brutal. I mean, it kind of it hit me real early on in the season when um, forgetting hotel room numbers because there's been like three or four in a row. Sure. And forgetting what city we're in and not knowing what day of the week it is. But um, I'm, I'm just getting kind of adjusted to the being comfortable in like a chaotic lifestyle, I guess you could say. Who inspired you as a player as you were coming up and now that you're maybe on the court facing some of these guys? Uh, one of my, two of my favorite players to watch uh, in the NBA were Dwayne Wade and Manu Ginobili. Um, so those those two guys I would constantly watch highlights of and you know, go out in my driveway and try to replicate whatever they're doing on the court and, uh, on a lower rim and a, a smaller hoop and a smaller ball. but. Um, now that I'm here, I kind of pick apart all, all different parts of the sure, league and sure. see what guys are doing. Who's your inspiration as you're coming up? Who inspired you, maybe personally, family, or anybody in particular? Um, I don't know. I don't know about anyone in particular when it comes to basketball. I, my parents always instilled in me to work hard. Um, I didn't have much of a basketball influence in my family. I mean, my parents weren't athletes. I didn't have anyone close to me that was an athlete or played basketball. I kind of picked it up by myself and loved it. And, and my parents basically said they're not going to force me to do anything, but you know, if I want to go to the gym in the morning, they'll take me. If I want to go at night, they'll take me. So. They were extremely supportive in that aspect, and I think that support kind of made me want to work hard.